And Lady, I'll tell you what, it was a little chilly this morning. It warmed up during the day, and now it's cold again at night. <laughs> Are we really in springtime? What's going on here? Well, you know what? We have oftentimes false spring in February <laughs> and early March. Now we're having, yeah, it's back to winter, <laughs> at least briefly. We've got some freezing temperatures in the forecast for tonight. You can see Galax today. That's Feltz Park. And yeah, blue sky. Some folks managing to get out there and enjoy and get a little exercise despite the cold temperatures. Temperatures. You can see the shadows there as the sun going down. Our temperatures going down as well. In fact, we're already at 33 degrees in Galax. We're 37 in North Wilkesboro and temperatures are in the low to mid 40s across the triad, but set to get down below freezing tomorrow morning. We're at 30 degrees on average in the triad, but some of the outlying areas will be cooler than that. We've got upper 20s in the foothills and low 20s in the mountains. Now we don't have any frost or freeze watches or warnings out because we're not really into the growing season. Our average last frost and freeze in the mountains is not until early May, and it is usually early April to mid April across the Piedmont triad when we have our average last spring freeze earliest. Well, was in 2010 on March the 7th, the latest May 8th, 19 1989. Now we'll have freezing temperatures tomorrow. We'll be close to freezing Tuesday, but those morning temps are going to come up along with the afternoon highs, which will be below normal for a couple of days, but then get into the 70s for highs Wednesday and Thursday. You can see the cool air that is just to the west of us. Also notice some of the cloud cover and at least some of the returns here on radar. We are going to have a dry day on Monday and we should have a good bit of sunshine. However, by Tuesday, we will start to bring the clouds back and there is a small chance of rain. So for tonight, with that northwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles an hour, it will get cold. The winds will go back up tomorrow afternoon, and because of that, we're also talking about that wildfire danger again tomorrow. So in the high category for the Piedmont, the foothills, as well as the mountains with those winds out of the west at about 10 to 20 miles an hour, low humidity. So those, those two things, pretty dangerous combination. You'll notice the winds, they're fairly light in the morning, but they do increase as we go into the afternoon. We've got a small rain chance on Tuesday, hoping for some rain by Thursday. What we don't want are the thunderstorms that may come with it. This is the storm system that's going to be bringing us some rain and possibly the chance for storms toward the end of the week. In the meantime, it's a pretty quiet weather map. Like I said, sunshine for tomorrow with temps in the 50s. By Tuesday morning, we do have some clouds, and I think it's a pretty gloomy gray day on Tuesday with highs that are in the 50s. 50s, small rain chance with that. Tomorrow, enjoy the sun, and after lunchtime, the temperatures do get fairly nice. We're up close to 60 by afternoon. That brisk wind, though, northwest 10 to 20 miles an hour. We've got freezing temperatures to start in the foothills. We'll climb into the upper 50s by tomorrow afternoon with sun. And our mountain forecast is, of course, cold to start in the 20s, but a high of about 45 by late afternoon. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It's going to show you the temperatures staying below normal, which by the way is 65 for this time of the year. Clouds on Tuesday, clouds on Wednesday, but we shoot up into the 70s by then. Also looking at a warm, gusty day on Thursday with rain and the chance for storms. Lady, thank you. There's new video tonight of the Coast Guard rescuing a hiker in Alaska on Saturday. You can see the Coast Guard officer approach the man who appeared to be sitting. The 70 year old reportedly fell 200 feet while hiking on a mountain in southeast Alaska. He managed to call 911 with his cell phone. According to the Coast Guard, the whole